Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for February 12th to the 18th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you like a personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. All right, my darlings, you know I don't like to take up too much of your time, so let's jump right in here. We're gonna start off with three different decks, so let's go in here. And guys, we're gonna talk about the day-to-day, -day, your love interest feelings, the block shillings and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it that way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's gonna have my Leo's romantic love life for February 12th to the 18th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's do card deck one. What's gonna have my Leo's? Ay, 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 okay, what part of the pop out there? There's some kind of decision here, an abrupt decision being made, or there's an ending that happened, it was very abrupt. And also the next card, if we go with the next card, it looks like whatever blockages, delays, and challenges, um, they're gonna stop, end, complete because of an abrupt decision. All right, <clears throat> let's cut, see what the card is underneath that healing tree card. All right, we're gonna have to see how that plays in your reading. What's gonna have my Leo's romantic love life for February? 12th to the 18th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, and a card deck three. What's gonna have my Leo's romantic love life for February 12th to the 18th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, it seemed like that healing card wanted to come out again. All right, so let's lay down your cards here. And remember, Leo, you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. And remember, this week is gonna encompass Valentine's Day as well, so I'm going to uh, ask you guys, if you guys want me to do a reading on Valentine's Day, please let me know in the comments below, because this is, um, 12th, 13th, 14th, this is Valentine's Day here. I know it's coming up, so you guys have to let me know right away, all right, because it's coming up soon. And then we got 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th of February, all right? So let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. We see a relationship, a soulmate connection here with the Two of Cups energy. The next card seems to be something that has been stuck, and that seems like someone wants to defend their position, they want to fight for this, and they've been stressing and worrying about these regrets about they feel bad about what happened okay so let's bring this together huh so the first day here that explains that coffin card energy it looks like either now this card can be seen a couple different ways it doesn't always mean oh, i'm going to walk away from the relationship so we'll have to see as it clarified but it's like it could be saying i want to walk away from the situation right on the 12th or I don't want to deal with my emotions today, right? I'm just numb. I'm not trying to deal with this. We see that this walking away here has caused actually things to align in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune card. And we see that Three of Pentacles is saying, let's work together, let's collaborate together, let's build something here. Okay, so let's see what this Eight of Cups is about. There's somebody who misses you. So it could have been somebody you walked away from or they walked away from you, but they're missing you. The ship card is there. That's the energy of longing. I want some kind of movement or change here. Tree card talks about healing. We saw healing come out a couple of different times just now. And I'm confused. I need clarity. So I want some kind of movement in healing and I'm confused. I'm really missing you, I'm longing for you, and I want this to give this time to grow. And I want to get um, understanding about, you know, can we work together? Can we build this foundation? Can we collaborate together? Can we find a creative solution here? So I wanna make a decision very soon here about some kind of movement, travel, or change in walking away. Because I'm defensive here about getting hurt. And I want a commitment, but the commitment seems to be very confusing. Some of you, they may feel like there's another person involved with the Three Pentacles energy. Some of you, 
They may feel like, all right, well, I really want to build a foundation. I really want something solid here. We've built so much so far. So let's see. And that was Valentine's Day, by the way. Let's come together. Let's do something creative. I'm really confused about the commitment. So there's going to be a sense of confusion here. If you guys want me to do more an extensive reading, just let me know in the comments below. All right. So it looks like on the 15th, though the 15th, which is, is what's going on. Either people are having a great day, the day before and a day after. Okay, so on the 15th, it looks like, it looks like they're, you're coming together with someone here. Because Lovers talks about choices with the heart, a relationship, right? Love, a love commitment. And it's really making you happy. And Sunkar can also talk about, there's some being, things being revealed here about a twin flame soulmate connection, a connection here, a relationship. Let's go out. Let's have a good time. All right. So it looks like your good time is happening the day after Valentine's Day. Okay. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Some people are, are enjoying their day the day before and some the day after. Okay. So before I go further, let's look at the blockage here. I don't want to miss an opportunity with you, Leo. If I offer this to you, will you accept it? You have so many opportunities here. I feel like the situation is there is concern because you may have other potential opportunities here. And it's like there is a sense that if I offer this to you, you're going to have a sense of confusion because you have all these opportunities. And you've had growth with these other situations. So, oh my goodness, there is somebody, there's somebody really obsessively thinking about you on the 16th. There is a strong desire, a strong attachments. Let's see what that's about. Mm -hmm. Of wanting control here with the bear card energy. And trying to be happy here with the happiness card. So someone really wants more control over this situation. They're obsessively thinking about this sense of happiness with you. And we see on the 17th a sense of abundance here, money, family, long-term commitment. It's also a completion card. Things are coming to a completion, coming to a head when it comes to stability and stableness. Anchor card energy. Could be some spiritual lessons, so you may want to watch out for that. Pay attention to that on this day. So far, we can see very soon there's going to be a decision made because somebody's defensive about a commitment engagement engage marriage because of other people involved and wanting to be happy and feeling that there's a higher connection here. So going further on this on the 18th, Mm -hmm. There's going to be some flirtiness going on on the 18th. And what's that about with a person? So a person's going to be flirty with you. And we can see it's going to be like, oh, okay. Things are moving in my favor with the Wheel of Fortune card. Let's move over here a little bit. That's better. Okay, so it does seem like there is a spiritual connection here, okay? There is defensive energy. Leo, I feel like you guys have a lot of options here, okay? It's like almost like everyone wants you here. It's like very soon, I'm defensive about the commitment, there's other people involved, could have more than one choice or option here. What's going to make me the happiest here? There is a deeper connection. I feel like I'm really connecting and things are turning in my favor. Okay, let's keep going here. Okay, there's movement towards this um, healing situation, but really confused about um, the sense of happiness. Wanting to take control of the stuck energy with this person. Okay. The person card could be you, could be the love interest. I want to walk away, but then things turn in your favor. So you may want to have walked away, or they may have wanted to walk away, but then things turn in your favor. It's like, let's work together. Let's build a foundation. Let's have this relationship. I'm really obsessing about the long term and the sense of abundance here. And we see that there's a lot of things to explore together, passionate things to explore together. Okay. So let's bring this together, Leo. How does your love interest feel about you? Your love interest wants to speak a truth to you. Your love interest wants friendship, they want to go out, they want to have a good time. But they feel like naive about the situation. They're, they've gained new perspectives. Also, they may want to speak a truth about your friends. They may want to also speak a truth about the fact that they may feel that you have other options there because there's three people in that card. And they are feeling a bit naive about the situation. Your love interest wants to speak your truth about love and the secret 
but the bull card energy could be a secret, secret love and surprise. Love and knowledge about an invitation, that could be the bouquet card energy. Love and gaining knowledge about some kind of surprise or gift. They may want to give you a gift actually. We are talking about Valentine's Day coming up this week. This person feels like they're trying to be patient and they do want to bring things into balance here, but they are stressing about it. So I feel like for some of you, they're stressing because you guys, you may, you may be friends with this person. This person may be concerned about friends infringing upon the connection, other people infringing upon the connection, or another person that they feel like you may be interested in that you may have not have told them about. They don't want to be naive about this and they're stressing about this attraction, bouquet card energy. They do want to speak truth about love here with the heart card energy. So Leo, let's see what your blockages are. So Four of Cups, Tower card, and Hopeful. So you guys are lacking hope. There is a sense of isolation or separation or a sense of structure or order. Concerns about missing an opportunity. That also could be the Four of Cups energy or what would be offered wouldn't be accepted. Possibly not being single and available or your situation with a the person, they may not be exactly single and available to pursue. So let's do the overall outcome. We got the Moon card energy. We got the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. I'm so confused. Should I put the work or effort into this connection because of the fact this indecisions? Doll card, Crossroads card, Snake card. Loyalty and indecisions, but having a lot of strong desires, okay? You really shocked and surprised me. I'm really missing you. And I want to communicate. I want to reach out and communicate with you about this. So your person's like, I feel really shocked and surprised about this sense of confusion and loyalty or friendliness. I really miss you. I really want to put the work or effort in. I'm really at a crossroads. I want to have a heart to heart conversations about these indecisions because I really strongly desire you. So this person really is strongly desiring you. We got the devil card energy we saw, the obsessive card. This person's obsessively thinking about you. Okay. How do I be honest with you about this romance? I'm trying to be hopeful of a positive outcome. I want an opportunity here, but there's another person here that causes a lot of confusion. We see, you fulfill my desires, Leo. You're everything that I want. I want things to come full circle. And how can we overcome our challenges here? You make me so happy. There's a sense of passion here. But you keep slow walking the situation. Knight of Pentacles energy. I want to argue and fight for this change because of the sense of ending. So they want to end these, um, these things that have been causing a lot of lack of flexibility and they're trying to be hopeful of a positive outcome. They want to end the slow walking, these slow movements and this indecision and this confusion with this person because this person's confused. I want to be nurturing and supportive. I love you and I want to make the effort. So they really want to make the effort towards you, Leo, but they're confused. They're trying to have hard-to-hard conversations because they feel like you're kind of like hot and cold with them, back and forth with them about the situation. And so they're trying to end this confusion and try to move forward into a more serious direction because they have all this passion and chemistry for you and they do have love for you. But their concern is they feel like you're going back and forth because of the other person that's involved in the situation. Okay, my beautiful Leos, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in another date or two. I'm either going to do the Valentine's Day reading next or their true feelings or maybe even um, the mid-months, which is love, career, finance, and health and wellness. You guys let me know which one you want me to do next in the comments below. There's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much and I do read my comments, so I will see you guys soon.